Hello and welcome to Quit Essentials! Not too long ago, I made a video about moving the uh, saved games you have on your real life PS2 memory card. These are like the, the played games on the real PS2, but now you want to uh, import those into PCSX2, uh, an emulator that runs on the computer that emulates the PS2. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name because I'll probably get it, I'll mess it up. But they commented, is it possible to do the opposite from PCSX2? to PS2. So yes, I showed you one way to do it, to go from this to the computer, but can you do it the other way around? Now why would you actually want to do this? PCSX2 is not a perfect emulator. It plays some games perfectly fine, other games might have little glitches. One title is uh, Time Splitters 3 or Time Splitters Future Perfect. Something about this game, when you uh, enter into like a, a camera for a piece of equipment, it does this. Like it just smears everything to oblivion but you can't progress the game like at all because this little part from this one level like you don't know what's going on when he commented on this i already had this idea in mind copying a saved file from pcsx2 back onto the memory card of the ps2 play this part of the game on the real ps2 save it and then transfer it back and continue playing on pcsx2 I don't know why don't I just play it on the PS2. Well, PCSX2 can give you better graphics quality. And I've rigged it up so I can use a PS4 controller, which is a lot more comfortable than a PS2 one. And it's wireless. All right, so a few things you're going to need. Now, obviously, is a PS2, and it's going to have to be at least soft modded. Uh, you're going to need a computer. You're going to need a PS2 memory card. And you're going to need a jump drive. Step one, jam the jump drive into your computer. Now this is the same jump drive I used from the previous video. I actually still have all these saved files. They look like folders like this. If you haven't done that part yet, um, you just need to make sure it's formatted in a FAT32. If you're not sure, feel free to go ahead and format it. It does erase everything on the, on the memory stick, so keep that in mind. Just do FAT32, default, name it whatever you want. Quick format, start. It warns you that it's gonna erase everything. You just click OK. There you go. Next, we're going to launch PCSX2. We're gonna to go to the config menu. Go down to memory cards. <laughs> Tells you the path where it is right there. You can just open an explorer. That's actually a nice feature. This file is the actual memory card. Now, I'm assuming you already have a memory card and saved games on your PCSX2 if you're watching this. Select the one that you want to convert uh, and uh, you click convert. Converted, converted, converted. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, let's just name it A. Click convert. It freezes. That's okay. Just let it do its thing. Don't try to force close anything. Just be patient. See, it even warns you converting a memory card may take a while. Please do not close the emulator during the conversion process, even if the emulator is no longer responding to the input. See, they're aware of this. So they put that in there for you. Cool. We can click OK. We can go down here. Wait. Yes, there it is. Use IRL PS2A. If you open that up, this now looks like the file system that you're going to find on if you're able to access the files on this. And I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, I'll select all of these. Click copy. We'll navigate over to our uh, our jump drive that we formatted into a FAT32 and we're going to paste it. There you go. Yank that from your computer and jam it into your PS2. Also, jam your memory card into your PS2. Power it on. Bear in mind this is modded. You have to have a modded PS2. You're going to go down to U Launch Elf. Hit cross to launch that. It's going to take its time loading. Be patient. Anyway, you press circle for file browser. We're going to use our D-pad to go down to mass and press circle. Mass is like your jump drive, any jump drive that might be connected. Here are all the folders and files that are on that jump drive. So here's where it gets incredibly tedious. Some games have their name in the folder name. That's great, I love that. Like Futurama here. Some games don't, like this one, I have no idea what that is. If the game you're trying to copy over doesn't have a name, I'm sorry, you're probably gonna have to very tediously copy each folder over 
one by one. It's going to take a long time. But if you are lucky like me, apparently, you can just copy the one folder over. Anyway, so you move down to navigate to where it's selected. Press R1. Brings up a little menu. You press circle for copy. And then you press triangle to back out and you navigate up to your memory card. So MC0 and MC1 are your memory cards. In my particular setup, MC0 has the, the free McBoot soft mod in it. Uh, that it's a, it's a standalone card that is just taking up that slot. So uh, my actual memory card is in MC1. It's a memory card slot too. So um, I'm gonna select that. It might be a little different for you. And yeah, circle to select. And then I'm gonna press R1. And I'm gonna press circle for paste. So I copied and paste uh, a folder basically from the jump drive that uh, I got from the computer over to the memory card. And basically that's how you're able to move saved games from PCSX2 to your PS2. I was able to load my save game that I created on PCSX2. If you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. When you like you operate this mech through this terminal, and as you saw earlier, like it just is a big smeared oblivion thing. But when I try it here on the PS2, we're good to go. God, this is still kind of disorienting, but I mean at least I can make sense of it. I'm able to play through this part up until the next save point and then take that save file, move it back to PCSX2, and continue my game on from there. So to the commenter whose name I dare not try to pronounce, um, hopefully this is helpful to you, anyone else who might be watching. Even while doing this video, I've learned a few things um, about modding PS2s, PCSX2, um, just about that in general. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment, let me know. I definitely don't mind trying to learn more about this and the best possible way to get the run on um, the ps2 was definitely my favorite era of gaming consoles so yeah getting the relive them in the best way possible is always fun for me so with that being said i hope you have a good one i'll see you in the next one